morning, everyone. Can you hear me back there okay? This morning, I'd like to discuss the sunflower. The symbol of spiritualism is the sunflower. Who first suggested its use or the symbol is not known, but it was used by spiritualists at the Lilydale, New York in 1893. And in 1900, the sunflower pins were used. And in 1928, the sunflower was adopted as the official lodge of international spiritualism. The motto of spiritualism, as the sunflower turns its face to the light of the sun, so let spiritualism turn the face of humanity to the light of truth. The legend of the sunflower was that two young Native American children were walking in the field in the woods enjoying the day and the sun and the wind and they had a pouch with them. Each one had one and they always carried what they collected, the berries, the stones, the seeds. And both children had collected seeds from many plants including the sunflower along the way that day. As they were crossing the meadow, the two Indian children became very playful and they set their pouches down and they were so very happy that they ran and jumped throughout the field and with the small animals and the butterflies that lived in the meadow. Now neither the animals nor the children were afraid of each other. They knew and recognized the other as part of nature. As the sun moved, through the sky, the two children soon knew when it was time to go home to the village. They returned to where they had left the pouches and set them down, but they could only find one. They looked as long as they could, but they had to leave as soon. An Indian never is wasteful, so the two returned often to the meadow to look for the missing pouch. However, they were unable to locate it. Many moons had passed, snows had come and gone, and they were on their way one day as the sun raised, and it was bringing Mother Earth back to a full bloom. It was time that the two Indian children were walking in the same meadow. There before them stood a beautiful sunflower, majestic, with his face turned toward the sun. The flower had not been there the year before when they were walking in the field. And as they ran up to it and looked at this beautiful flower, the two noticed the huge healthy stalks that came out of the ground. As they stared at it, the two children were very surprised to see the pouch that they had lost the year before. Very excited that they ran back to the village to tell the families and friends of their wonderful find. It was thought this wonderful story that the wise ones of the tribe came to understand the law of propagation or agriculture. What is sown will produce the same. What is sown is reaped. The, plum, the sunflower was given credit for the divine relationship. Now the sunflower and modern spiritualism has a comparison of aspects. The sunflower, native to our soils and translated to many other soils. Modern spiritualism, native to the land, transplanted to many other nations. Sunflower, strong stalks holding a heavy blossom. Modern spiritualism, strength, philosophy, teaching man his happiness here and hereafter depends on building a strong state of character. Sunflower protects wheat plants from the surrounding elements in the wind, rain, and the heat, etc. Modern spiritualism protects man from the superstitions and ignorances. Sunflower, medical values. The sunflower has all vitamins and minerals. Modern spiritualism, 
medical values, spiritualism protects man from the superstitions and the ignorance that prohibits spiritual growth. Sunflower, mag it's magnetic. It attracts all insects to its special nectars. Modern spiritualism magnet attracts all people in search of the truth, especially those unhappy with the dogmas and the creeds. Sunflower grows in poor soil, ground without fertilizer, and still produces a beautiful flower. Where modern spiritualism is grows in poor soil, people who are negative can become positive. Sunflower is part of God's nature. Modern spiritualism, we are all part of God's nature. We are all brothers and sisters and children of God, infinite intelligence. Sunflower turns towards the light of the sun. Modern spiritualism, we look for the good in all our families and friends. Sunflower gives us beauty and food. We can make the lives of others happy. The trinity of spiritualism is the science. It investigates, analyzes, and classifies facts and manifestations demonstrated from the spirit side of life. Philosophy, it studies the laws of nature, both on the seen and unseen side of life, and bases its conclusions upon present observed facts. It, it accepts statements of observed fact of past ages and conclusions drawn from them. When sustained by reason and by results of observed facts of the present day. It's a religion. It strives to understand and to comply with the physical, mental, and spiritual laws of nature, which are the laws of God. What else does the sunflower teach us? Even though we stand tall, we are never alone. The face of the sunflower is full of seeds to feed the hungry who search for the life-giving food. As we strive and stand tall and allow the inner God to shine through so others can reap the, heart, the benefits of your strength, you all are the I am. You can heal yourself alone or with the help of spirit. All you have to do is ask for the help. You can affirm I am in perfect health today by remaining in the positive light and saying I am in perfect health. When we get up in the morning, stand up, I am in perfect health. And as we repeat that, the negativity begins to relinquish itself and release us from the pains. Remember, if you say you can do something, you can do something. If you need help, ask for the help. That help can, can be from family and friends here or on the other side of life. Ask spirit for the highest and the best for today. Remember, if you ask your father in spirit for help, and you're about to take a medical exam and he only has an eighth grade degree, then you might want to call on someone with a higher qualification to meet your needs so that you can pass your medical exam or your test or whatever that you're striving for. As we continue to grow, continue to ask the questions that are popping up every day. Don't say, oh, it's nothing. Look into who or whom is trying to contact you. Then ask, are you here to help me? Or are you here seeking help? Yes, even spirit needs help. It may be with a situation that happened here and now they are there trying to make the reconciliation. 
by saying, I'm sorry, that may be the most powerful healing a person could receive. I'm sorry for someone in spirit who devastated my life while they were here. You never know who is trying to contact you. Sunflowers were placed on a raft after the Chernobyl incident. And they were sucking up the radiation from the water and purifying it. This plant that can feed you and heal the world. Be a sunflower and give and grow strong and tall. Think you can and you will. The sunflower is attracted to light. What are you attracted to? What keeps you looking forward? Do you just hope something will come your way? Or do you ask spirit who has been there and already done it successfully? The laws of nature are simple. Who do you turn your face to when you need help? I was told that we all come into the earth plane with an agenda. Did that agenda come with you with the knowledge that only sure things in life is change? Therefore, even though we came with an agenda, have we met it? Is it ongoing? Is it something that you strive for and you've achieved and now the rest of your life you go, oh, what's next? We keep going and keep learning through the process of the changes. I was once asked, if we came with an agenda, how do we move on? Nothing is set in stone. We move on by asking yourself, where am I? And where do I want to be next? Many people have said, you know, I've done all these things in my life. I'm about to retire. And I got nothing to do. And a gentleman was 71 years old that made that statement, still working 67 hours a week. And, I, and, and Doug says, well, I can't retire. I, I got nothing to do. How many of us can say that we've got nothing to do? And if that's the case, then we need to find something that's going to be like our sunflower, that's going to turn our face to the sun, turn our face to the light of humanity, and allow ourselves to accept and trust. Nine months ago, I got a call from my cousin Shirley. Her husband's in the hospital. He was a guy that walked five miles a day, ate healthy, didn't smoke, didn't drink, split wood by hand instead of with a machine. And she says he's in the hospital right now. He was just diagnosed fourth stage pancreatic cancer. Nine months ago, in our class, that I oversee, we started sending him healing. And he believed he was receiving the healing as well. Yesterday, we went to visit. And he was told two weeks ago, or three weeks ago, that in two weeks he would pass from in hospice. He's into the third week. His system finally flushed the chemicals. His wife, Shirley, her father came in spirit, his name was Vic, and he said, we have cleaned the chemicals a little at a time from the chemotherapy from his body so that he can now 
come back to full life. They did a check on his vitals yesterday. His vitals were all completely normal. He passed this mass of chemical waste. And this morning she said he was doing amazing. He has full color, he has a smile. So even though a doctor says, here we are putting a feeding tube in and you're going home in two weeks, you're gonna be gone. He beat the odds. He's starting to feel much better. He's eating regular. And so you never want to give up hope. You never want to put all your faith in the doctors in regards to the fact that they are humans, that they can make mistakes. They don't know what the spirit side of life is working and how it's working. So if we keep the sunflower and keep turning our faces to the sun and believe what we're doing, believe that every healing is done. The process and the part of that process is the recipient has to be ready for the healing. And in this case, he was absorbing it. When we call him the next day, he says, I was feeling it. So therefore, keep sending the healing. And when the recipient's ready, they will receive it. And I want to thank you for allowing me to share with you.